In this video, I'll walk you through FL Key Mini's features that will help you make music quickly and easily in FL Studio. Let's take a look at the channel rack. Here we can load in our samples, loops, and MIDI instruments. The green marker indicates which channel we have selected. Use the channel rack up and down arrows to select which channel you want to control. We can use the keys to play the sound on a channel chromatically. Or if we have channel rack mode selected on our pads, we can trigger each channel individually from the pads. To enter channel rack mode, hold down shift and tap the pad labeled channel rack. If we select instrument mode by holding shift and tapping the pad labeled instrument, we can use the pads to play notes as if we are playing the keys. The pads will also adapt to special layouts if we are using FPC, Slice X, or Fruity Slicer. We can use FL Key Mini Sequencer Mode to lay down the foundation of a beat. Hold Shift and select the pad labeled Sequencer. We can add or remove steps by tapping the pads and select different channel rack channels by using the channel rack select up and down buttons. We can change the pitch, velocity, and a variety of other parameters of our steps by holding down a step and turning the pots. Now let's use FL Key Mini's Note Repeat mode to add more percussion to our beat. Press the Note Repeat button to enable Note Repeat on the pads. Now when we press a pad, the note will repeat if we hold the pad down. The notes will also respond to pressure changes depending on how hard or soft you press the pad. To change the speed of the repeating notes, hold the note repeat button or double press to latch and select one of the keys labeled with the time division you're looking for. Hit the record button to arm the project for recording, then press play to record these notes into FL Studio. You can change the volume of a track on the mixer by holding shift and selecting the pad labeled Mixer Volume. Turn the pot corresponding to the mixer track you want to turn up or down. We can do the same with the panning of each mixer track by selecting Mixer Pan Mode and turning the pots of the corresponding channel that we want to pan. Now let's play in some notes with the synthesizer plugin that I have loaded into my channel rack channel. Hold shift and press the plus or minus buttons to scroll through image line instrument presets. Now 
now I'm going to hit the record and play buttons, then play my melody. Let's use the POTS plugin mode to change some parameters on our synth. In plugin mode, you can use the POTS in your FL key mini to control up to eight parameters on the image line plugin that you have selected. Now that I've explained FL Key Mini's features when using FL Studio, feel free to explore the rest of FL Key Mini's Easy Start videos for more.